Hi guys, Lorraine here. Um, so thank you. Thank you for signing up uh, to be a part of this community and a part of the newsletter for the District Yoga. Um, so much support uh, when I launched that. I hope to grow this community again, both online and then if you're local to Lodi, California or the Sacramento area, love to connect with you in person. Um, I do teach at Flow and Function Yoga here in Lodi, so if you ever want to catch a class for me, find me there as of right now. Um, again, I just wanted to say thank you for being here, um, bringing your energy into this community, and then I just want to share a couple things. So um, I'll probably be doing this newsletter um, about twice a month, um, so be on the lookout for something from me. And it, it's gonna be a combination of things, be it video like this, or even just something that I might write, a little snippet of things that I might find interesting. Uh, as an intro to the newsletter, I thought I would start by just introducing a little something that I've been really interested with, with lately. Um, it's called myofascial release. Um, and some of you are probably knowledgeable of what that topic is, but if you're not, in layman's terms, it really just means um, a self-massage technique. It's really just a technique that you can utilize to help alleviate pressure or tension in certain areas in the body. Um, and today I just wanted to show you two places in the body um, that I like to roll out uh, pretty typically throughout the week, whatever's kind of affecting me. It's really nice to find these um, techniques that are just quick and easy to do to incorporate into your daily life. Um, so first, we're gonna roll out our feet. Um, and the reason why I'm choosing the feet first is really it's my go-to location to to roll out and i say roll out because we're going to utilize a ball <laughs> um, either a tennis ball or even a lacrosse ball if you have one uh, i will say that the lacrosse ball is a, a lot more pressure so if you're not used to rolling out or um, if you're new to myofascial release please opt for the tennis ball uh, if you'd like to invest in a yoga therapy ball, there are lots out there. Rad is a good one if you'd like to purchase one. So find what you need, but tennis ball works measures. <laughs> works perfect. We're gonna start with the feet. We're just gonna bring that ball onto the mat. I'm gonna turn off to the side so you can see me. And then we're just gonna find you know, that middle section of the foot here, just kind of start out to feel the pressure, especially if you're new to this practice, you wanna just start to feel that pressure in the feet. If it's ever too much, always alleviate or lighten up the, the pressure that you're pushing onto the ball. But we're just gonna roll that ball the length of our foot. I apologize, I have pretty flat feet, so a pretty straight foot there, but just roll up and down as fast or as slow as you'd like to go. Maybe adjusting the footing if you need. And then I'm in the middle of my foot right now, so I'm gonna switch that out. I'm gonna roll on that pinky toe edge of my foot, which to me is the hardest. I don't know if that's because I have flat feet, but <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll on that side just back and forth. Again, fast or slow as you'd like to go. If you need to stay in any place, that's always welcome. And then I'm gonna switch sides to the inner edge of my foot. This one feels super good for me. Keep the breath flowing, don't forget to breathe. If you need to go back and forth in any place, you absolutely can. And then once you're done going back and forth, the length of the foot, we're gonna bring that back towards, you know, the middle of the foot. And then we're just gonna roll side to side. So find what kind of feels right for you. Just rolling side to side again, as fast or as slow as you'd like to go. I like to start off, you know, with the length of the foot a little slower. And I actually like to go a little quicker with the side to side, so find what kind of feels right, the pressure, the time, the pain. 
pace. Last couple breaths here. Beautiful. And then if you need to, sometimes it's nice to just find a little bit of, of pressure in one particular place. Right now I'm just in the middle of my foot. Ah, so I kind of find a little bit more pressing a little more firmly into that. And it just kind of, you know, has that hurt so good <laughs> feeling. Last couple breaths. Whew. And then rolling that out. We'll definitely switch sides. Always doing both the left and the right. So starting down the middle, the length of that foot. <clears throat> One side might feel different. Nothing wrong with that ever. Just means, you know, some, some sides are tighter than the other. So find that pace through the middle of the foot, up and down. And then rolling onto that pinky toe edge. This, all, this is always a little harder for me, the pinky toe edge. So find the pace that feels right. Go a little bit slower. Last couple breaths. And then we'll switch sides to that inner edge of the foot. Starting from that toe. Rolling all the way back. <laughs> Beautiful. Last couple breaths. And then bringing that back towards the middle of the foot, we're going to find those zigzags on this side. Again, making the adjustments as you need, how you need. Whoop, you might lose the ball a couple times. Nothing wrong with that. We just find it. Maybe some circles, too. Those are always nice to do. Last couple breaths. Uh, and then I'm going to find a little bit of pressure in the middle of my foot. I like to press my heel down a little bit while I'm doing that. But again, this might be, it might be different for you oh, than what's for me. Nothing wrong with that. Last three, two, one. We'll roll off of that. Move it off to the side. So that one's really nice. Again, the feet are really connected to the whole back body. Really, our connected tissue starts and the bottom of the foot from that big toe goes all the way down and back through that heel. And then from the heel, again, it goes through the calf, the back of that thigh, up through that spine, the length of the spine, coming up through that head and neck. And then it comes all the way up and then to that focal point, really that top or crown of the head. Um, so if you have low back issues or any tension in the head and neck, if you get migraines or headaches or anything like that, rolling out the feet is a great technique or tool to use and start to incorporate into not only your daily lives, but into your practice as well. So that's the first one. The second one, we're gonna roll out the shoulders, really in between the scapula and the spine. I'm doing this in my class this week. There's still one chance to uh, see this routine um, Sunday, so hopefully I see you there. But we're gonna, again, I'll turn around so you can see, place that tennis ball in between the spine and the scapula. We're gonna roll maybe up and down on it, maybe side to side. We're gonna find those pressure points and just kind of roll through them. So find your way to almost like a bridge pose, coming onto the sits bones, feet come about hips width. We're gonna bring that ball with us. And then I'm gonna start on my left side, if the ball doesn't roll away. Um, again, finding that place in between the spine and the scapula, you might need to roll up or down, depending on what kind of pressure feel you like or a place that you like. Oh, I found a nice one here. So I'm just going to roll side to side, maybe roll along that scapula. And then you're pressing through the feet, maybe lifting up the hips if you want a little bit more pressure. And we're just rolling on to that ball here. Came up a little high. If you need to make any adjustments, you can. If you need to stay in any place, always welcome. All right, last couple breaths here. If you want a little bit more pressure, lift the head and neck up, and then maybe roll 
whole there. Last option I'm gonna give you is just a little bit more. We're gonna, you know, find a nice self hug. Give ourselves a big, big hug again, finding that ball between the spine and the scapula, lifting the head and neck, and then rolling on that ball. Again, you can go up, you can go down, side to side, just finding a pace or place that feels right. You need to walk the feet in, absolutely. And then just rolling through, finding those areas of tension that we can hopefully release a little bit. Last few breaths. Beautiful, last three, two, and one. Release the hands, release the hips down to the mat. Roll off to the side, remove that tennis ball or yoga therapy ball. I'm not gonna do the other side, but always switch to the opposite side. So if you did the left, we'll do the right. Um, again, those are just two wonderful myofascial release techniques that I like to use. Um, I hope, I hope that, you know, you take them with you and, you know, again, if, if there's some that you don't enjoy, we can just leave them off to the side. If you do enjoy them, please start to incorporate them into your yoga practice. I wish you so much health, so much wealth. Um, Thank you for being here. Namaste.